What's up guys? Today we're going to be playing some Battle Breakers and I'm also going to be showing you how you can create a macro for Battle Breakers on your PC and really level up your account overnight, level up your characters and really get the most out of this game. I really enjoy the visuals in this game. I like the concept of this game. This game was well thought out and very well designed. There's tons of unique characters that you can use with many different skills. And there's a clear upgradable system in this game. And there's also somewhere where you can put the heroes that you don't want. Um, but I absolutely enjoy this game. It's fantastic. If you're playing this game and maybe you want to get to the next level a little bit quicker, you can definitely auto grind your way up while you're sleeping, get you those extra levels so you can attack uh, higher level uh, battles and get better loot. And you can do this to upgrade your characters to higher levels, maybe unlock, unlock better stats or to grind dungeon keys or to grind specific uh, materials for your heroes and so without any more delay let's jump into it guys and let me show you how you can make this macro so it can work for you all right guys so in order to get battle breakers on your computer you have to download the epic games launcher and once you pull that up you can go to the store tab and you can type in a search for battle breakers and you should be able to download the game for free and um, that way you can create the macro on your computer to run for you uh, that's how I did it and once you download that you also need to download uh, pullovers macro so I will uh, have a link for this below and once you download pullovers macro um, the only thing that you'll need to know is once you download it you'll open it up and make sure that in the settings so you'll go to options settings you want to make sure that in the default tab that the mouse coordinates are screen and not window and what this means is that once you click the window of your application the coordinates will change to be in the applications coordinates and we don't want that we want the coordinates to stay on our screen so once once you select that you can hit OK and what we're gonna do is we're going to open up Battle Breakers. Once you have all this downloaded, you'll open up Battle Breakers. All right, guys, and once you have Battle Breakers open, we're going to record a basic macro for this. What I like to do is I like to take the screen and snap it to the right side of my monitor. And this allows me to have just a... Um, a really repeatable spot where I can put this screen and then we're going to go to our pullovers macro creator and what we're going to do is we're going to hit record when we hit record we're going to click F9 on our keyboard alright guys so I'm going to hit F9 we're going to start the recording going to come down to the map button and click it twice maybe three times and if you can't see your battle on here you can just repeat what I do I'm gonna click the one seven and then I'm clicking off of the one seven and then I'm going to come over and click the four one and the third battle is the one that I want so I select that and then I'm going to click battle And we're going to start this battle. I'm going to click uh, the close button here. So you want to click somewhere 
uh, where your far right guy is if this doesn't pop up on yours. So you want to click maybe on him right here. Then I'm going to click in the middle, kind of the middle of the screen. And I'm just going to click all the way down in a line until I get to the red here or my middle person in my front line. Then I'm going to come over and click auto. And after I click auto, <clears throat> after I click auto, it's going to continue to do the, the auto fight uh, sequence that the game has built in, which is pretty awesome. And I want to make sure that I give this fight enough time uh, to finish. And so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to let this play out. I'm going to see if this fight's a hard fight or an easy fight comparably to other fights that I've done. And then I'm going to add time based on that. So I'm going to let this fight run out. And after this fight runs out, I'm going to wait a little bit of extra time. And then I'm going to continue the rest of this recording. All right, guys. So the fight's ended. I've probably given it an extra 30 35 seconds on the end of this fight just in case if then if one of the other fights are a little bit tougher than this one was So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down and hit collect But before I do that, I want to say that I picked a fight in which I would level up and The reason I did that is because it's gonna make this next part a little bit easier um, you don't have to, you can kind of guess and, and trial and error this, but I would definitely pick a fight that's going to level you up on your recording. And uh, the macro is still recording right now, so we're going to continue with it. I'm going to come down and hit collect. After I hit collect, then we're actually going to have a level up perk here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click right above this menu and then I'm going to click further up and then further up and then I'm going to come over to the right and click the right I'm going to click it twice and then I'm going to come back down and click choose perk once I do that I'm going to come down and click map twice and then we're going to click F10 uh, and then we're going to click F9 and then we're going to click OK to this error message and then we're going to open up pullovers macro recorder and what you should have on this uh, screen right now is macro 2 should be open um, and then macro one, this is our actual, this is our actual code for auto grinding this game. So we're going to click on macro two. We're going to right click and close it. And what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to say file save as, and I'm going to save this macro to my desktop as battle breaker two. Cause I already have, I already have one. So I'm going to save this out. And now my macro should run this fight for me over and over again with no problem. And it should help me uh, level up while I'm not here. So uh, I actually have a pizza while I've been recording this. I've been cooking a pizza. And uh, it's done. So I'm going to let this run and see how it does real quick. And uh, let's see if we can level up real fast while eating pizza. I click the play button on this screen right here, but you wanna make sure that you actually have a hotkey in this play box. So I'll click on this box and click F4 is my go-to. So if I have none here or if I have backspace here, I'll click this and click F4 and set it as F4 to play. Then I'll click this blue play button, which is to the right of our record button and we'll click the blue button. The screen will go away. Uh, we'll say OK to this message and then we'll hit F4. And when we hit F4, it should run through our macro.
And if you've made it this far, then this should be it. This is all the information you need. Um, I hope this helps you guys out a bunch. And uh, I, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope to see you again. And if you have any questions or concerns, please let me know in the comments below. Be glad to help you. And we'll see you next time.